I'm Nihongo Gamer and today we're looking at a really cool accessory, it's this! If you've got yourself a Steam Deck, this is an accessory just for this handheld. If you are interested in keeping the whole system cool, you need to get something like this, which is a dedicated cooling fan. Now the question is, will you actually get many performance gains by cooling the system better? Because the truth is, this unit doesn't actually run very hot anyway. But what I'd like to do today is do a few tests and actually see whether hooking this on to the back of the Steam Deck like so and actually having this dedicated cooling fan is actually going to have much difference on our gameplay. Now full disclaimer, Binbox sent this unit to me for the purposes of making this video. They didn't ask me to say anything specific and I get to keep the device at the end of the review. But of course opinions are all my own. Let's jump straight in and see how much difference a cooling fan actually makes to something like a handheld like the Steam Deck. All right, so we've got the Steam Deck here and we've got the Binbok cooling fan. And I'm gonna show you how it's installed. So the first thing we're going to do to install this fan is we're going to remove the Steam Deck from the docking station, which I have here. Now, if you're not super familiar with how the Steam Deck works, it appears that air is intaken from the back here and it comes out mostly from the top. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any kind of line on the front that matches up with like a line on the front of the device. So all you have to do really is just kind of click it on here and hope that you're in the right place. And then you just slide on the base of the fan like so. And the cool thing is that you can stand your Steam Deck up like this now without any docking station, pull out this kickstand all the way, and then you can rest it without a docking station. And let's just boot up Street Fighter 6, shall we? So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the options and just set it to the low setting. There's no point really in showing you the high or normal settings because the game doesn't actually run at 60 FPS on those settings anyway. All right, it looks like this temperature has stabilized around 68, 69 for the CPU. Now let's take the fan, let's clip it onto the top of the Steam Deck, stick it on there and let's turn it on full whack. You can already kind of hear the fan whirring it's fairly loud, but remember you can set it to a low lower setting if you want to. And as you can see, after already 30 or 40 seconds, we've gone down to 64. So we've already gone down four or five degrees. Still going down, 63 now. And it's been on for about a minute and a half now. And yet, as you can see, we've gone all the way down to 61 degrees. So that's pretty much exactly what it says on the box, that it will go down between 8 and 15 degrees. More often than not, I find that I get this performance of an 8 degree drop in temperature. And that's for the game that I plan to be playing the most, is Street Fighter 6. And honestly, this is a P you know, this is a current gen game. You can play this on PS4, but it's also available on PS5. By the way, it's gone down to 6 degrees now, so we're actually 9 degrees lower than we were before. Let's turn it off and let's remove it from the Steam Deck. <laughs> it's only been like 10 seconds and you can see the temperature going up 61, 62, 63. All right, this is Atelier Riser. I'm just going to run around and I'm gonna leave the character just standing somewhere. All right, so 75, sometimes 76. Now it's time to turn the fan on all the way full whack. All right, that's about a minute and a half of waiting. And as you can see, we've gone down from roughly 76 to 68, 69. So that's again, basically, eight to, you know, seven or eight degrees down in temperature from where it was without the fan. Now do keep in mind, this is with the fan at maximum, maximum blast, and so it's pumping out the air and it is quite loud. Something I should also point out is that the percentages of the usage on this GPU and CPU haven't actually gone down. So it's not like by running this at a cooler temperature you're actually able to push the hardware harder and make it go faster. Not with the default settings. Of course, if you actually download some over overclocking software, I'm sure you can make it perform as high as and fast as you want. But just using the default settings, it just lowers the temperature for you and you don't really get much of a performance gain because I wasn't really running up against my thermal limit anyway. By the way, it's going down to 67 every now and then. So in a way, it's kind of like nine degrees drop in temperature. Let's try another game, shall we? All right, so I've got Monster Hunter Rise running on the Steam Deck here, and we're averaging about 81 degrees on the CPU. So it's time to get the fan out, connect it on top like so, and then click it to the base. Power this up all the way. Okay, after about 30 seconds of cooling, we've gone down from 81 degrees to about 76. All right, coming up to three minutes now, and every now and then we get down to 74 degrees, but I don't think it's gonna get much cooler than that, which means we've got a total of seven degrees maximum reduction in temperature for something like Monster Hunter Rise. Now, in case you're interested in seeing, I can actually turn down the fan all the way off, 
or I can just turn it on a little bit and have it on sort of like the minimum, sort of almost minimum cooling, which means that you can barely hear the fan. It's not very loud. All the way back up to 80. It does seem that if you're going to have the fan on the absolute lowest level where the fan noise is not very annoying, then you're not really making much of a difference to the temperature. So I'd say that if you are going to be using the fan, you want to have it all the way up, or at least, you know, almost at the top level. So that's pretty much it for the Binbok Steam Deck cooling fan. Essentially, if you don't have a docking station with you and you don't have any way of standing it up on its own, this is actually kind of a nice portable way to add a kickstand to your Steam Deck. And this way you can stand it up and, I don't know, you can play a round of Street Fighter with your friends in a toilet or on the streets. I will say that even with the fan switched off, you do feel that there is air coming out of here. So it's not actually inhibiting airflow. I mean, I think it's not inhibiting airflow very much when it's connected and not set to on. But all in all, it does exactly what it says on the box. It reduces temperatures from 8 degrees to 15 degrees. Honestly, I never got it to go any lower than 9 degrees. If you don't mind the noise, then it's probably going to help your Steam Deck last a little longer. And as a bonus, it's a kickstand as well. Well, that's it for the Binbox Steam Deck cooling fan. What an interesting device this is. A little bit questionable whether you actually need it, but it does do exactly what it says on the tin. It reduces temperatures from somewhere between 8 degrees and 15 degrees. I didn't really ever get as far as 15 degrees, but on average I would say 6 to 10 degrees redu reduction in temperature is realistic. So if you are OCD like I am and you always look at your devices like, I want my Steam Deck to last as long as physically possible. If you've always got CPU temperatures on screen because you love stats and you want to make sure that everything is as optimized as possible, and let's not forget, that's actually kind of one of the most fun aspects of PC gaming, then you're going to actually really like having a device like this because you'll know 10 degrees difference. You're like, I'm always keeping my devices as long lived as possible. So in a way, it is really nice. I just personally don't have any games where I'm ever running so hot that it's a necessary device. Like it's not necessary to have this Steam Deck cooling fan so that I can make sure that my games are not running at a slower frame rate or anything. It's just a nice peace of mind and some people will be running their Steam Deck in a different way to the way that I do it. I play it as a handheld whenever I feel like playing it, but some people will have it sitting on the side all day long running for a really long time and for that reason it's like okay well if you're gonna be idling or you're gonna be doing desktop stuff for maybe I don't know seven or eight or t maybe ten hours a day then you're gonna be like okay well ten hours of running ten degrees lower that's actually gonna make quite a significant difference to hopefully the longevity of the device but the final question is do you really need a fan for your Steam Deck? Personally, the way I use it, not really, but if you like that peace of mind and you're obsessed with CPU temperatures and statistics and you're running it for a long, for many hours on end, you may actually want to make sure that you're running as cool as possible for as long as possible. Subscribe if you loved it, like the video if you haven't done so already, and be sure to click on this video next and watch it if you're interested in successories, accessories for your Steam Deck. I've been Nihongo Gamer, I'll see you real soon.